Hi, the multi-level marketing pyramid scheme called Finmore has announced that they've delayed yet again the launch of this Fin Credit store. We all knew that this was going to happen. It's it's heartbreaking to see so many good people caught up in this scam. And what's even more heartbreaking is to see so many people leave this MLM scam and then get recruited into another one. So a bit of a background of what Finmore is, where it came from, just to catch you up to speed in this. This is confusing. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible before we get to the announcement released by Finmore with their excuse as to why they're delaying this Fin credit store. This is a pyramid scheme that is collapsing. They've had three of their people at the top of the pyramid scheme, Larry Lane, Nick Sorensen, and Eric Allen, who have started their own multi-level marketing called Nilo Life, which it's supposed to launch tomorrow, April 11th. They've sped things up because there's more scrutiny on them as they now try to like get for a money grab. These three are scammers. Finmore is a scam, as was Transact Card. Caught up in all of this, people are realizing I've been in it, I've been conned, I've been scammed. I bought into something that I really believed in. And some of them are having this awareness that I've been in a cult. I've had my faith used against me. I, I emotionally manipulated people. I brought, I used my character, my reputation, my social network to recruit people into this. I feel so horrible. So this video is for you. You're not alone. The anti-MLM movement is here, as I'm sure you know, and there are so many resources out here uh, for you. You can contact your favorite anti-MLM creator, even like just comment. We're, we're here for you. It's a lot, and we're all in this together. I also want to give a big thank you to everyone who is sending me content. You know who you are in the DMs and in emails. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. This is it's it's work, you know, taking screenshots, sending videos and that, and I really appreciate it. Transact card, I believe I'm going to be giving you all the information that I pulled from behindmlm.com and I'm going to be linking to Behind MLM so you can go and do your research as well. So if I get something um, incorrect on this, um, you feel free to correct me. I know in a lot of other videos, you know, I'm, I get on my soapbox and I'm like, you don't understand. I'm trying to like point out that this is a mouse trap and you're caught in it, but I understand for this video, I want to kind of keep it. Uh, like tighten it up a bit and just keep it to like what is printed out there um i guess the facts i mean how can you have facts around this fraud and this scam they say one thing and then they do another you know but whatever so transact card launches around to june 2023 now one of these people that was in at the top of this pyramid scheme is eric allen and he's also one of the founders of this new multi-level marketing company called nilo life but we're not even going to get to that in this video i am going to be making another video about that right after I do this one, because they're supposed to be launching April 11th, like I said, and they were uh, supposed to enter pre-launch. That's Orwellian Newspeak for a multi-level marketing pyramid scheme. What they call, um, what they're actually doing is recruiting people into the pyramid without having any product for sale, but it's okay because we call it pre-launch. They were supposed to enter pre-launch at the end of April. This is like not even middle of April and they're rushing to try to launch this thing because this is a straight up money grab. So I'm just going to like keep this to transact card and Finmore. And then the next right after this, I'm going to be making another video. And I'm going to be posting both of them too for you. Okay. So Eric Allen, he discusses a power save account. This is within transact card. Now after behind MLM publishes this article, Transact Card deletes the video of Eric Allen talking about this. This is going to be a common theme. This guy makes a lot of promises, and he's been making a lot of promises for many years. His story stretches far beyond um, Finmore and Transact Card. He, uh, uh, yeah, so check out that Nilo Life video because I have something for you that is going to it's going to surprise you because he's using the exact same words like co-create, ecosystem. Um, I find that he outright lies and there's evidence of this, of him starting what appears to be a multi-level marketing company five years ago called Global Game Changers. So again, okay, I, I keep saying I'm not going to talk about it and then I keep doing it. Okay, back to this. It's important for you to know like the, the seeds of this, you know. 
So that was in June, June 2023. July, the next month, Richard Smith promises that the November 12th launch date is final and will not change. About two months out from their launching, at the end of August, very beginning of September, Transact Card loses access to its US banking partners. Of course, November 12th comes and goes and nothing happens, you know. December 13th, they announce that Bangor Bank is its new US banking partner. December 16th, Bangor Bank denies having a partnership with Transact Card. All throughout here are so many promises and lies and obfuscations and everyone you need to keep believing. But these are the facts. These are the like the timeline for you to just kind of get a handle on what's going on here. February 2024, beginning of it, uh, suspends Transact Card suspends the DBO recruitment. That's what they call their multi-level marketing participants. February 3rd announced it's rebooting as Finmore and it's a copy and paste of Transact Card. February 6th, Transact Card DBOs are being denied refunds, which catches us up to today, April the 10th, which Finmore was supposed to be launching this Fin Credit store where people are supposed to have, you know, they had, they never received this Transact Card. Essentially, it was these rewards that every time you'd swipe a card, then you would earn, you know, for a dollar, you'd get a dollar Z buck or a dollar fin credit. It keeps changing. And then they're supposed to have this store where you can redeem all these credits, all these points. And they, they haven't delivered. And so we're going to watch the video and see what the official announcement is. Greetings, Finmore community. It's good to be with you once again. You know, we know that the Finmore store and the anticipated Finmore debit card swipes, they're the core of the Finmore. I'm so happy that they have a picture of that Finmore card because that I'm going to be getting a screenshot of this and that's going to be lined up with my collection now that I can use in various pieces of content. Rev card, transact card, Finmore card business owner story and none of them will come none of them came to be rev card didn't come to be transact card never came to be finmore card it's never it's never coming those two ideas the quality of delivery of those two pieces of our ecosystem are central to the entire social impact message of our finmore community our social impact message our reason for being it's like People just wanted to know, is this store ready so I can cash in my fin credits and bring down the retail price and all these amazing goods, which they kept hammering, was laundry detergent, toilet paper, and luxury goods. And this is just him talking about social impact ecosystem. Our mission is about increasing people's buying power. How? by allowing our members to spend their hard-earned money, money that usually doesn't go quite far enough. This is a scam. This is a pyramid scheme. Peter Rancy is running a pyramid scheme. Eric Allen, Nick Sorensen, Larry Lane, whoever the big O is, are running a pyramid scheme. This, they are outright scamming people. This video and all my other ones will stand on record, just like I did when I was speaking out against Transact Card and Finmore and also Nilo Life, which I keep saying I'm not gonna talk about Nilo Life, but you really gotta see this video that I found of him going on about global game changers. It's just nuts, because what he says is that I never wanted to be a founder. I never did, I never wanted to do this, but he did it. He was a founder five years ago, and he's saying the exact same thing because they always say the same things. These scammers, they get in, like they get a script, they find a groove that works, and they just keep recycling it over and over and over again. And you can look at, go back on their Facebook feed, scroll back, look at their videos, go on YouTube, search their names, search World Ventures, search various companies they've been part of, and you can see what they do. They do the exact same thing, continuing to scam people. And they get people in and those people start scamming people. And a lot of people, they don't know that they're involved in the scam, which makes it very complicated because you're a victim and then you also become a perpetrator. And then the shame of that can keep people in. But then what it does with some people is it turns them. They wake up and they realize, you know what? I don't care. I, I deserve this.
this is my time. And anybody that starts a multi-level marketing company, they fall into that category because they know that these things are frauds and they're purposefully deceiving people, purposefully lying to people. Okay. <laughs> Enough money that already has to be spent somewhere so that wherever those dollars are being spent, they earn fin credits. Earning fin credits means those same dollars can be spent again as fin credits. So keep in mind, this is released to people already in the multi-level marketing pyramid scheme. They all know this. All they want is they want to be able to cash in their fin credits. And I have so many sources in various groups. Thank you so much. Sending me screenshots of people so excited saying, I'm going to be able to cash in. Look at how many fin credits I have. Finally, it's going to be great. I also see Facebook posts, people that have them posted publicly, sharing how excited they are that the fin store is finally going to be here and it's not here. You, what you have, if you have yes, this guy making this whole speech for what? It's like, just say it. It's not launching. But they have to, they have to make it this big deal, this big corporate update to make it make pretend that this is a, like a corporation, like it's an actual business when this is just fraud. MLMs are frauds. In the Finmore store. But that only works, A, if there is a reliable way to earn Fin credits, and B, if the store is strong enough for people to want to spend dollars and Fin credits in the store. So, Every day, the Not store. The toilet paper again. Look at this. It's always the toilet paper. Which is already built, gets stronger with new products being added. But here's what the extra way. It's not built. It is about. Here's what makes it worth it. Everyone is eligible to earn fin credits now using all cards. And yes, all cards, a program that exists nowhere else, gets better and stronger every week. And thank you for your patience on that. The team is doing a great job to build that. We all want the Finmore card too, which will give you the opportunity to earn income from swipes. That's been the, the big wait for The very small print there says currently in development. They are going to make as much money as they can from everybody still clinging on to this hope and dream. They are now so emotionally entangled within this pyramid scheme because the other part of this that is going to be really messing with people's minds is the realization of the um, conditioning, the social conditioning they've undergone and thought reform techniques. And they're, that's why they've been so sucked in. It's like, there's the thing of thinking like, well, how could I have been so stupid? How could I not see this? But then there's also like, wait a second, this is unlike any other thing I've been in. It's unique to MLMs, which it's not, it's the same in all cults, but I just wanna, Kind of like gently introduce this to you if you're new to my content and i know there's um a lot of people that are waking up that's the language i use to describe what it was like for me when i was in multi-level marketing um, i don't know what it will be like for you um, but as you start to see what you're actually a part of and what was done to you and what you may have done in turn to others unknowingly it wasn't you thought you were in your right mind you thought you were coerced without your permission, without your consent and manipulated to do things that you would never have done. You would not have signed up for this had you known what it was going to entail. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Everyone. But now, in addition to the anticipated swipes from the Finmore debit card, we have worked out how to pay you from, wait, store swipes. Every time your Finmore members use their Fin credits in the store, you. Do you know how many people have left to go to this thing called Nilo Life? They have their three high visibility people in this um, that started this other pyramid scheme, and they have they are recruiting like crazy. You're going to see. <laughs> I keep saying that I should probably just make one video, but I'm like I'm set on doing this into two videos. You're gonna see that there's a Facebook group called Nilo Swipe and it's called Nilo Swipe. They haven't even changed the picture yet. It's still Finmore. So you have people that were in Transact Card, had a Transact Card group, had to change it to Finmore and now they're changing it to Nilo Life and they still are under the spell, the multi-level marketing spell. And you'll see it's very black and white thinking. You have no negativity allowed. You cannot point out that this is a scam. You don't understand. These three gentlemen really have our best interests at heart. And they're, having, they're spinning this whole myth about them now. 
which is a lie, but they're encouraging it. I've seen it repeated twice now, once in a group and once in another video I'm going to react to. Okay, I promise. No, I, I'm not going to promise because I'll probably break that promise. Let's just get back on with this. The FBO will earn card-like basis points from their purchases. Now, as a Finmore business owner, the Finmore store is your store, not just to buy goods and services, not just to promote. Every purchase from anyone in your community will earn you the equivalent of cards. Is the store launching today? Yes or no? Why are you talking so much? Swipes in the form of store swipes. Only you and other members can shop in the Finmore store and now through store swipes and Flourish Commissionable. This is what a scam collapsing looks like. Keep this in mind. Go back to this video. Go back to even anybody that has made transact card videos all over YouTube. Um, you could go back to my content if you like it. And you can look at, um, I mean, you could go on Facebook and follow the people and see what they were saying. See what these, see what Eric Allen, Larry Lane, and Nick Sorensen were saying about transact card. See them rooting for people on their various teams and downline saying, I'm so proud of you. Look at their trainings, even go back and notice the discrepancies. You notice, find the contradictions. You're going to start seeing them. As soon as you start seeing them, they start popping up like whack-a-mole. They just, boop, boop, boop. you can't, you cannot, you can't unsee it. And it can be pretty it can be pretty intense when you start to realize the, the magnitude of this. And this is not just restricted just to Finmore now, but it's been going on. It went on in Transact Card. It went on before that in a lot of other companies. And some of these people have gone on to other multi-level marketing companies too. For services, your Finmore business story just got better. Store swipes allow you to participate in the revenue of the store. Now, to program these powerful store swipes to increase your earning opportunity will delay the opening of the store again. Just a few. We're going to delay the opening of the store again. No, ex there's no excuses for this nonsense. This is a pyramid scheme. He is defrauding you. Anybody that is in Finmore is in a pyramid scheme. And I am so sorry to tell you this, but your own actions are hurting your reputation now amongst your colleagues at work, your friends and your family. I know that you want to believe in this. I know that you believe this is a beautiful concept. And I know that you're very resistant to having any criticism. This is a very obvious scam and you are unable to see it because you are so deep in it and i hope you get out i hope you get out before you keep invet losing more time and money into this and what i really hope is that you don't get sucked into another multi-level marketing scam this is time it's time to get out it's time to get out and heal and and don't get sucked into another one weeks during that time, we'll continue to load even more products and value into the Finmore store. And what this means is that your income opportunity multiplies. Whatever you were expecting to earn from card swipes and have been waiting patiently for and still expect to wait patiently for into the summer. Just as like is, he's ordering you now, this is like a prompt. Whatever you were expecting, you are still going to wait to expect. And people will be agreeing with this because you have undergone this conditioning, this mental conditioning. We're far more easily influenced than we think, especially if you're in a multi-level marketing company. And if you do have a friend or a family member in Finmore, they are at such a high risk of getting targeted and recruited into another cult. It doesn't even need to be an MLM cult. It can be something else. They're very vulnerable right now. As you can see by the, the magnitude of people being recruited into Nilo life, which doesn't have anything except it's like it's a, just a pyramid scheme. We'll promise we're having testimonials of all the things that they're going to deliver. It's absurd. I haven't seen anything like that before. I'm sure it's existed before because all of these scams do. But I've never seen uh, a, an MLM give testimonials from excited participants who haven't even enrolled yet to test to um, endorse something that doesn't even exist, but how happy and excited they will be when it happens. And people are just eating it up.
It's so sad. Will now be available to you from store swipes. In fact, the income projection from store swipes is almost identical to the projection from card swipes. And oddly enough, almost identical to what it was for transact card. Oh, slip of the tongue. I shouldn't have said that because transact card tanked. Let me say that again. The income projection from store swipes is almost identical to the projection from card swipes. And what he is making like this, there's this in um, inference that this is going to be this big income claim. He is encouraging the participants to really dream big. That's why he has, I'll say that again. You know what I'm saying. That way, if anybody points out, well, like Nilo Life saying you're going to get a 58% return on investment, which I have that slide. Somebody has said, because I have their power presentation, their deck or whatever, I specifically took a screenshot of that because I'll show it because somebody was saying, I never saw that in the presentation. You just made it up. I didn't make it up. Eric Allen, Nick Sorensen, and Larry Lane made it up. And it's out there for the world to see. They included it in their presentation. And if you were in the Nilo Life community, because I was, you could have downloaded it yourself and you could see it for free. It's absolutely free. You just have to sell your morals and your soul. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this guy. While you're waiting for card swipes, not only will you earn from store swipes, we're going to double your store swipes until the card swipes. I'm, in, I'm done with this guy. I'm extremely impatient. Um, this is more promises. How can we string these people along as long as possible before this collapses? This started at the beginning of February. We're just in mid-April now. This isn't even two and a half months this company has been alive and they're, they can't deliver. This is following a tired, predictable pattern. Available. All those fin credits that have already been earned and all the new fin credits will drive new activity in the store. It will happen. This is what Nilo Life is doing too. And just wait for Nilo Life to tank and all the people claiming that this was the best thing ever. You're all on record. And it will all be out there for everyone to see how you were like, this is the right thing to do. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be damaging your own reputation with this utter nonsense. You are on the record now defending an absurd pyramid scheme. Back on track to Finn more, Julie. And all activity in the store within your community will produce additional income for you. So there you have it. Finmore community, Finmore family. The social impact objectives that we began with are still intact. And now we've increased your income opportunity. Yes, you'll have to wait a little longer for the store to open so that we can do the programming, but it will be worth the wait. Are you doing the programming all right? It's just like mental programming. It's called brainwashing. I have no problem using that word because that's what it is. That is what's going on. And another layer all these MLM participants are going to have to be pulling back is why using this pretend business language to prop up clear frauds over the years is considered the correct language to describe a cultic fraud. And the actual words to describe what these things are, which is frauds, pyramid schemes, commercial cults, indoctrination, sophisticated thought reform techniques, cults is considered so far out there and incredible incredible like incredulous the it's flipped upside down the fraud now is so effective at fooling everyone that even when you leave you start you keep using the language to describe what it is instead of being able to use the language as to what it actually is because you look like well that's just nuts that's just too much that's not based in fact and it is the fact is these are fault these are frauds that these are cults. They're not a business opportunity. You don't attain financial freedom. This is the language of a cult, a commercial cult. And the generational change that we've set out to take place is on its way. We've only just begun. Thanks all. And that was the update for Finmore. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that uh, you continue to critically think and, and get mad. So much shame 
holds MLM participants back from even picking up a book or listening to a podcast or watching a YouTube video. The pressure to be busy and be productive is rooted in real leadership concepts and like things that you want to do to improve yourself. It's not so easy to just say, I can like throw the, I can't throw the baby out with the bath water. All of these things are tied together. I used to think that there was no baby in the bath water to use this analogy. Just, I just want to get rid of it. What I have seen, what I have experienced is that I can't run away from any of these concepts from multi-level marketing because they take over everything. And especially if your faith has been tampered with um, in Transact, Carter, Finmore or Nilo Life, it's going to be really hard to like claim that back. So um, the road is bumpy. <laughs> your journey might just be beginning, but I just want to reiterate that you're not alone. And what I mean by that is that you, you know, there's a community out here that, of people in various stages of um, leaving multi-level marketing. You can see people who have been out for a longer time. I've just been out just over two years now. I was one of the people that decided to start speaking out. You don't ever have to speak out. You don't, it, it's up to you. You get to set your rules. You can change your mind. You have the freedom to do what you want, to be what you want, to say what you want, to think like you want. You get to decide, not anybody else. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.